my insights on artificial intelligence. I'm more bullish on it now, right? When, when I first started researching more about AI, I was very cautious. We've seen a lot of blunders with AI in the professional world, whether it be, you know, Sports Illustrated laying off their entire staff and faking AI articles, or whether it be that one lawyer who used AI to generate his court briefings. We've seen a lot of blunders, but the possibilities are endless. Like the ability to enhance what we do is endless. And one of my favorite uses that I have found for AI is the ability for it to help organize thoughts, especially my thoughts, but the ability to give, let's like, take ChatGPT, for example, the ability to just give that a series of bullet points, things that you know in your head, and then ask it to reformat it in a paragraph or a certain presentation style is really cool and really valuable. And in the financial services industry, that's really cool as well, because for example, in our Orion Compare tool, we're using AI to help formulate the best way to discuss you know, all sorts of different financial options based on your behavioral finance profile. So if you're somebody who's an optimist, they're gonna, you know, you're gonna wanna speak to somebody who's an optimist different than somebody who might be a pessimist. Your tone of voice, the words that you use. So AI is incredibly powerful in that way. I'm really excited to see where it continues to go. But just like anything else, it's a tool. And what is most important is how we wield that tool, right? A kitchen knife is a tool. And in the hand of Gordon Ramsay, he'll make you an amazing meal. But in the hand of Michael Myers, you're gonna have a bad time. So the tool is amazing and it's how you wield it that is the most important thing, but it is incredible. So in our Orion Tech survey, I noticed a couple of really interesting things. Number one, AI is by far the, the top of the list in terms of disruptors. People know that AI is going to be making a change to this industry, to the way that we do things. But what was really interesting is second to that was the desire to create personalized experiences. And what I think is fascinating about that is because I think those two can go really hand in hand. Advisors spend a lot of time focusing on the actual financial well-being of their clients and maybe not so much the ability to communicate with certain types of people. And I do think AI can bridge that gap. AI can bridge the gap for financial advisors who are wanting to maybe branch out into more personalized experiences, more fun experiences. You can ask ChatGPT for a list of fun events that would involve the family if you're just not used to throwing those. You can ask it to reformat your language like in our Orion Compare tool. So I think the marriage of AI, the fact that this industry knows that it is coming and is excited to use it, but it is kind of, AI is kind of a solution looking for problems right now and looking for areas in which we can apply it. I personally don't want to apply it in movies, music, things like that, that's human expression. But when it comes to financial services, when it comes to helping us connect with one another and teaching us things about communication, it's incredible. So I'm really happy that the survey showed that advisors are aware of it, they know it's a disruptor, but also I want them to know that they can really pair AI with those personal experiences and the desire to hold those personal experiences to really power them. So it's really exciting.